Freshwater turtles have long been eaten for their rejuvenating powers. In the 70s, when they arrived with the health plan, sea turtles became a popular health care in some areas and poaching in peace. Poachers can easily follow the tracks of every female. By the 80s, eggs were selling for 30 pounds a hundred. People monitoring one beach in Kyushu concluded that all the eggs were taken and they began to protect the beach. In the town of Iwasa, on Shikoku Island, the people have been protecting their turtles since the 50s. In 1985, they opened Japan's first sea turtle museum. The was started by some school children who had seen people taking turtles and eggs for food after the war. The children cleared the beach of rubbish and entangled the turtles and began to monitor the nests. Some years later, following their initiative, children from a neighboring school began a conservation research project. Today, the eggs are collected from one or two nests, and working with the advice of scientists like Dr. Uchida, the children bring them into a homemade hatchery. The eggs are placed in crates in conditions which mimic the nest as closely as possible. The crates are not heated or regulated in any way. The children simply have to wait for 60 days or so for the eggs to hatch. <laughs> 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 Turtle eggs hidden above the high tide can coexist with other eggs, providing those of those sand to stay. It's the tourist facilities and other developments of the beaches themselves which have a more direct effect on turtle. <laughs> Land suitable for development is scarce, and the coast is seen as a potential area for information. Tetrapods or concrete embankments are used to control currents and provide protection for new harbors or land reclamation. In the six years leading to 1984, a further 3% of coast was lost from the four main towns, leaving only 46% in its natural state. At Shiraho, the government plans to provide land for a large airport by dumping earth and rock from a nearby hill over the living coral reef. The project has been held up by the determined efforts of protesters from the village. <laughs> After an anti-airport demonstration, Mrs. Oshima, one of the leaders, prays to the sacred rocks at the proposed airport site. The remarkable fact is that after eight years of pressure, some villagers are still campaigning.
News that Iwasa was protecting its temples soon spread, and people came from far afield to watch temples in the end. Once the temples have begun to lay, it's difficult to put them on, and the crowds are allowed down to the beach. Iwasa's effort may have come just in time for the very long population. Today, only six major rookeries remain, visited by perhaps a thousand dollars, but smaller numbers nest on the beaches. As the last females disappear into the ocean, the first eggs of the season begin to hatch. The mass of hatchlings use their flippers in a paddling motion to climb to the surface, slowing down when the temperature rises, a mechanism which ensures they emerge at night. Instinctively, they orientate to the faint glimmer of light reflected from the sea surface. In Japan, they have few natural predators on land. Most of the problems are associated with the proximity of people. Some are harried by feral dogs or cats. Discarded sea flotsam or rubbish may prevent others from reaching the sea. And many are disorientated by artificial light from street or hunting. The egg yolk provides enough energy for them to paddle hard for two days to get away from the dangerous coastal waters. Then they drift with the currents, probably in seaweed rafts, eating invertebrates and plankton, but no one's sure where they go. Little is known about the biology at sea, but it's thought that in their first hours they may pick up vital chemical signals, which in 15 or so years may enable the females to find again the beaches where they were born.